it's been so long that I don't know how to work a camera anymore. Hi everyone, it's Amy, and I am, you know what, I'm not going to apologize because we've gone over this many, many times. I'm making brownies because none other than Miss Rosanna Pancino, if you don't know who she is, this is her. She's an amazing baker. She's a YouTuber too, so you should check her out. She also has a cookbook like this. She also has a cookbook like this. So, she has a section called Thanksgiving, right? And um, if you're new here, I 100% definitely recorded every single day of October and did not miss Halloween. So, I'm going to not definitely make it up to you guys and do Thanksgiving. I've made brownies twice. And let's just say they never went correctly. So, I'm making blondies now. I'm scared because I'm I'm not a professional, even though I may have said I'm a professional sometimes, um, because I don't want to use my oven because that seems like a lot of work. So I'm using my air fryer. So this is also going to be part of the air fryer sequence series. Why did I say sequence? I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is made for an oven, but I'm doing it for an air fryer. I don't know what the measurements are supposed to be. It's also supposed to be gluten free and I don't have anything gluten free. So I'm using regular flour. So I also don't know how that's going to work out. You know, it's a big mosh posh of interesting ideas all into one. And this is why my channel is the perfect way to, you know, put it out there. So, if you like mosh pots of great, amazing, sweet content, you should like and subscribe because I don't usually uh, know what I'm doing most of the time. And then the other half of the time, it's pretty okay. Also, I did not put the butter on the out, you know, to warm, warm the, it up. So I put it in the microwave, but then it, it kind of melted to the plate. And then these are just like almost lukewarm. I don't know, but I have that. So this is a great way to come back to the internet. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Wait a second. Make pecan blondies. Is it pecan or pecan? Put it in the comments. In a large bowl, whisk together flour, baking powder, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. So I don't remember any of that, of what I just said. Oh, I'm supposed to melt the butter. Okay. Flour, right, yeah, of course. That's one, that's two, that's two cups. Baking powder first, which is a teaspoon. One, and then some cinnamon, a teaspoon, a fourth teaspoon of a baking soda, which this usually never comes out right, so it's fine. A fourth, and salt, which is another fourth. It's wow, wonderful. In a small saucepan, melt the butter and brown sugar over medium heat. Okay. So now that we're done with this, I guess we're doing that now. Butter and brown sugar. So where's the brown sugar? Okay, and butter. So I guess it really didn't matter if I um, warmed it up or not because it really didn't matter. This is a two thirds of butter and it's unsalted too. So, uh, melt butter and brown sugar over medium heat. How much butter, how much from that? Two cups, that's one. That looks about right. So that's one. Ooh, that was satisfying. Ready? Look how satisfying this is. Oh my god, I almost dropped that. Was that satisfying? I didn't see. We grab a spoon. Now we pour the butter. I'm not sure if you want to see this part. Can you see that part? I'm too lazy to get my phone out. So I hope you can see this. You're not missing out on much, it's just butter melting. Okay, so it's almost like fully done melting. So now we're gonna put the brown sugar in. That's a lot of brown sugar. It's really clumpy. So I'll let that cool. It's 352, so in 10 minutes it would be 
four with two. But why do I have to wait till it cools down? Why can't I do it now? What if I just put it all in one and then I'll just put it in there? One egg, ah, ah, two eggs. One teaspoon, not table. No table, only tea. One teaspoon and going back down. I guess we'll put the parchment paper on the pan because I have nothing better to do. Why can't I just put it in here like this? Am I being lazy? Maybe. See? That looks pretty good. Like, is this supposed to be a caramelized? I'm not sure. Now I'll just add the mixture over here. Can you see this? Now we use the whisk and we whisk this up. So now it's a little goopy, but I think that's fine. Make a well and then pour this in the center. Well, this really didn't work out correctly. Folding makes sense, right? I was scared at first, and I'm still scared, but not as much. I feel like I'm churning butter. Now that everything's well incorporated, we fold in the grounded pecans, and now they're out of timeout. <laughs> I put them in. It's not a cup. It was a little less than a cup, but I think it's fine. Oven. So it says three, 25. I'll preheat it for five minutes. I'm gonna spray this because I don't trust parchment paper at all. This is supposed to make 32. This seems like a little less than 32, if I'm being completely honest. So this looks honestly pretty nice. Why is it so loud? I thought my oven was loud. And I'm supposed to put pecans on top of it, pecans. I don't have them because I used the last of it to put it in. But there is some maple glaze, and I don't have maple syrup, but us Americans love some good old fashioned butter flavored syrup from non-brand place. I feel like now it looks presentable. So now we're gonna put it inside the air fryer and hope that this works. I put it on the rack, 325 at 20, 20 minutes. So now we wait 20 minutes and hope it works. Whisk together maple syrup and powdered sugar. That's a lot of powdered sugar. A cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna be dunking these, but like dunking them. Okay, now we put this in here. Do you know how this is gonna turn out? Rosanna, if you're watching this, which you're probably, you're probably not, but how is this gonna turn into glaze? 10 years later. Okay, it turned into a dough. So I'm gonna put some water in it because I don't trust it. I'm sorry, Ro. You're a great person. I don't know you personally, but you, you are an amazing person and I feel like the brownies are gonna turn out well because it smells really good, actually. I don't trust this. Maybe it's because of the buttered syrup flavored. And it's a little more liquidy. It's the consistency I need. It'd be funny if it just got finished now. Oh wait. Wait, did it finish when I said now? So it looks like bread. Is it cooked? That's the real question, actually. We need to test it, so. Taste test, or test, stick test. Stick test clean, so that means it's cooked correctly. That means I did it right, actually. So now we don't need this one. It doesn't look bad, you know? Is it cooked all the way? I don't, I'm concerned. So now I'm just gonna glaze it. I really don't know how to glaze. This is a very poor glazing technique. Do not follow my glaze techniques. Okay, that's a lot. I'm just gonna start brushing it off to the sides because I'm not getting the sides at all. And it's probably gonna give it a little more flavor than the flavor that I did not put in it. We finished up our glazing. Our little cinnamon roll slash maple pecan blondie. So now that we did that, we are going to, also, if you haven't seen the picture yet, there is the pic there there's the picture that's what it's supposed to look like and then there's mine everything looks the exact same so now we're just gonna cut into it it's cooked correctly is it cooked all the way i'm concerned okay so there's one 
Okay, it doesn't look like it's cooked. Yeah, it's very undercooked. So number one, I undercooked it. So minus 10 points from the 100 points I had, so 90 points. But anyways, the batter looked fine when I put it in. So it must have been something in the cooking part. So I'm guessing the air fryer really doesn't work for brownies unless you have to like use a technique where you like in changing temperature or time so that it cooks all the way through and not just cooks the top part and then the bottom part isn't cooked. I don't know, but anyways, I chose the pecans a very tiny bit, not a lot. It's not really satisfying me, you know? It's not giving me very much like, oh, exquisite, delicious, you know? It's, it's okay. And just spit on my arm. It's okay, it's not bad. I definitely should have cooked it longer. I shouldn't also have um, done most of the things I, I did, like put it in the air fryer. But we went with what we had. So, you know, it's a hot, we'll give it another 10 points. We got our 10 points back. So we have 100. I take off 20 points because then it's just like sad. Getting there, pretty great. When we got there, it took a little downhill, you know? So with that minus 20 points, it's back to an 80. Making blondies slash brownies or whatever you'd like to call them in an air fryer is a B. Not great. I would recommend using an oven if you have one, but if you would like to use an air fryer, it turns out like this. Well, for me it did. Maybe it'll look better for you. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I am not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did, because I, I post stuff like this, you know, and other things too, which you could see in, the, you know, in the description, in, not in description, you know, in my channel, where, you know, you can see my channel. And you can see things that I've posted. Not, not in some time, because I take breaks without notifying anyone. But you know, if you look back, I, I make videos, you know. And uh, thank you so much if you guys actually stuck around for me taking un, um, unsaid breaks. Because sometimes I get busy with school and life. And I sometimes forget, I'm sorry. So I hope I get better on doing that, but I most likely won't. So if you guys still stuck around, I thank you very much. And if you're new here and you are thinking about sticking around, maybe you should and click that little subscribe button and maybe that little bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.